President Obama had a press conference scheduled not long after the death of Trayvon Martin. And we were in the Oval Office with him right before he went out to deliver his remarks. And he said to us in a very emotional way, there is a reason why the black community is so outraged by this death because he's walking down the street with Skittles in his own neighborhood and why is he a threat? And then he said, I want you to make sure a reporter asks me about this, even though it's not the topic of the press conference. I want my voice in this. When I think about uh, this boy, um, I think about my own kids. My main message is, is uh, to the parents of uh, Trayvon Martin. You know, if I had a son, he'd look like Trayvon. And then after the George Zimmerman verdict was announced, the fact that he was exonerated reinforced the sense that the system isn't fair, that law and order doesn't apply equally. And President Obama went down to the briefing room and again, in very emotional tone said, Trayvon Martin could have been me 35 years ago. There are very few African-American men in this country who haven't had the experience of being followed when they were shopping in a department store. That includes me. We need to spend some time in thinking about how do we bolster and reinforce our African-American boys. And this is something that Michelle and I talk uh, a lot about. Uh, there are a lot of kids out there who need help, who are getting a lot of negative reinforcement. And is there more that we can do to give them a sense that their country cares about them and values them and is willing to invest in them.